What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Darren McDonald Be a Pro Series for NHL 22. If you have to already scroll down, hit that like button. We'll be having in this one. The fifth place Minnesota Wild are taking on the eighth place New Jersey Devils in this one. D to the Mac pushing 50 goals on the season in about 50 games. 83 points, not too damn bad. So I'll see you guys on the ice at the beginning of the second period of this one. All right, so we're taking on Vic Weiss and Sidney Crosby is a New Jersey Devil. So he goes from the Pittsburgh Penguins to New Jersey. I don't know that I ever see it actually happening in real life. And we got Yanni Gord to start things off with a face-off win on the five-on-four power play. We're simulating on ahead to our next shift, but we got a simulation. Aw, oh, damn, Jackie boy. <laughs> damn, Jack Hughes. Puts one in to make it three to one as we are stepping on the ice. And geez, oh my goodness, Doogie Hamilton brings her down the ice and almost tosses that one. And we are officially killing a penalty. But look at this guy go to work, gets her up to Tory Krug. Tory Krug cuts in the middle, tries to get it across to the Mac attack. We're going for one shorthanded. What's up, baby? <laughs> Krug to Zaka, nice shot, nice shot. Okay, Doogie's got me like all kinds of tied up right now. And Booch is going to be able to get that one. Away from the Mac attack. Doogie Hamilton coming down the ice. Still killing a penalty. Holtzy lose that thing. Oh, look at this. We got kind of like a blue line stand going on. And Nico, he sure throws that one wide. Booch bringing it back out front. Lose that thing, buddy. Here we go. Tori Krug gets it up to the Mac attack. Mac attack in through the neutral zone. I was trying to kind of do like a little half piv thing. And Jakob Zboril decides he's going to swell on us real, real good here. So in the final 30 seconds of this penalty kill... Oh, Alexander Holtz with a great chance. Booch gets her back out in front of the net to Anthony Bovillier to Holtz to Booch. Oh, my goodness. I think that was Nico Heischer who got that shot off, and we're probably going to be off the ice again. Oh, we, it looks like we had a couple of games that must have simulated as soon as we jumped into this one. We went from 5th to 6th, and Jersey went from 8th to 13th. <laughs> That's wild. It's amazing this time of year just how, like, one... Like one simulation will just like totally change the standings. It looks like a lot of the teams around the same place we were did very well. Here we go. D to the Mac. Oh, gets it in front. Tori Krug with a shot. That one goes wide. Okay, turn around, turn around, turn around. Here we go. I just wanted to also mention that there are people working on a roof next door. So I'm really hoping that the sound from that doesn't get picked up by my mic. Uh, my microphone is usually pretty good about not picking anything up in the background. It's pretty good about whatever is closest, like my voice, because I'm I'm about an inch away from the pop filter on my microphone. I get very close. I like to turn my mic down really low and get really close to it. Well, what a shot by Kovanov! <laughs> oh my god, I got the settings just just right on my microphone where I can essentially scream at it and it still won't peak, really. Like, not bad, anyway. I can get pretty goddamn loud, and this thing will not peak. So I just found I found that sweet spot. D to the Mac, getting through that neutral zone, trying to get around the defender. We're able to do it. Get on the other side of him. Oh, baby, what a shot. And that is goal number 49 on the season. This game is flipping tied. And, yeah. We just got to get one more. We are like the comeback kids again at this point. It is Mackenzie Blackwood in the net. So we need one more to take the lead in this game. Capitan wants to have words with us, and then we are at 50 goals on the season for Minnesota. What's up? If I blinked, I would have missed that one, Darren. That was a nice snapshot. Thanks, coach. Doing whatever I can to gain some momentum. It's exactly what I said I would do. You were like, we need momentum. I was like, I'm going to get momentum. And now he's like, thanks for the momentum. And I'm like, good stuff, buddy. I told you I was going to get momentum. And that's what I did. And now with a minute and a half to go in the second period, we're all tied up. And my guy, Esteban Hall, gets another assist. He is very quickly climbing the point ranks on this team. As soon as they put Hall and D-Mac together, it was like magic happened. Comtois, lose that thing. There we go. So it's it's a kind of an incredible feeling to know you, you are a sniper who has a playmaking franchise player right out in front. D to the Mac, gets it back to Esteban Hall. That's a backhander through traffic, through a screen. Mackenzie Blackwood had to be sharp to get that one. Austin Matthews, no surprise. He is the number two guy. Let's. Oh, no, I tried to get it back to the point. It was no good. All right, all right, all right. Final 20 seconds of the period. Look, at I'm just trying to, like, get in this guy's way. Just kind of bug him. <laughs> Braden Schneider turns back. 
Gets it back to Tori Krug. Back to the Mac attack. I had a little trouble holding on to that one. We got her to Esteban Hall. Halsey. Oh, he was going to try and find me again. And then he ends up getting his own rebound. Huge shot on net. But time expires in the second period. So put 20 minutes back on the clock as always. My God, that second period took so long to get through here at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. But we are here for the third. We tied the game up at three and now we're hoping to take a nice little lead there. Kovanov gets that one from Esteban Hall. Back to Braden Schneider, back to Hall and oh, nope, nope. <laughs> Vic Weiss, buddy, I've fought you about 10 freaking times at this point. You ain't touching my rookie. You don't hit my rookie. Jesus, there's going to be a Jens video out here. <laughs> don't hit the rookie part 714. Here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Lay down, Vic. That was the easiest decision I ever had to make about a fight in my entire life. Garbage day. <laughs> it's a garbage day sale. Look at this. Esteban Hull's like 5'8", 170 or something. He's just a little tiny fella. So now we are in the box for the next five minutes. We have fought Vic Weiss about 7,000 times. We got a simulation goal. Oh, God, it was Hughes again. That's the problem. You take D to the Mac off the ice, and it's like Jackie Boy Hughes just has his way. There, Esteban Hall, look at him pushing back against two New Jersey Devils players, and Kovanov gets in there. Takes that one away, and here comes the Mac attack, bringing this one into the zone. We're going to whip that one around the boards. Brodine gets it in front of Kovanov. Kovanov takes a hit behind the net, but he still holds on to it. Gets it back to the point. Kalen Addison to Esteban Hall. Up to Alexander Kovanov. Kovanov, D-Mac just getting in front of that net. Nice little shot. Easy stop. Halsey gets that one to Kalen Addison. Back to the Mac attack. What do we got, baby? Just fire it into traffic, and that one lands in front of the net, and Esteban Hall or Kovanov. We're both unable to get a hold of that one. Anthony Bovillier, knock him off it. We took it away. Oh, no, and then I lost it. Don't you dare. Oh, my goodness, what a shot. Oh, Sharon Govich, you are so lucky you got out of the way of that one. Bovillier, lose this thing. All right, get around him, get around him. Poke it away, poke it away. Okay, here we go, do it again. Poke it away. We got it, baby. Cutting in front. Oh, my Lord, what a goal. <laughs> There's number 50. On the season for D to the Mac, baby. That was such a nice little tuck there, baby. <laughs> oh, what a goal. Oh, just an embarrassment of riches the Minnesota Wild has right now, man. Oh, my God. Look at this. This, this like, little tuck was so unbelievably nice. Oh, you can't teach that. You can't teach it. You either got it or you don't. Just trying to find a nice little opening there. Kalen Addison to Brodine to Kovanov to Brodine. That was a nice little low shot on net, but I couldn't get in the right spot. Nice pass by Esteban Hull. Uh, right. Oh, no, that wasn't exactly the direction I wanted that to go in. Back to the point. Here we go. Kalen Addison, Jonas Brodine throws it into traffic, and that one's got nowhere to go. Esteban Hull's going to get knocked off it, though. And we are going to be forced back into our own zone by Kevin LeBanc, who now plays for the Devils. Kalen Addison looking for somewhere to go with it. Get it around the net. Not going to happen. Guess what? Oh, you're lucky. Boom. Oh, man, it was so late. <laughs> I had basically given up on throwing that hit at this point, but it's like you're locked in at that point. So, again, we're killing a penalty, and this time we're able to do it. And look at this Jack Hughes shot. Wow, five on three, too. That's no fun for anybody involved. Sidney Crosby, 21 points in about 50 games this year. And that one actually went off my leg. And D oh, I really thought I was going to be able to steal that one. That was a terrible line change, but we've already, we've, we've gone too far. Jesper Wallstead, nice little stop, and I'm sure we are about to be right back on the ice again. Is that what's happening? No, it's not. Wow, we're actually off. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, because we're still shorthanded, that's why. I don't, what? Okay. <laughs> so, we're going to overtime, apparently. All right. So put five minutes back on the clock as we just attempted to take down the Devils in overtime and not go to a shootout because that makes the game take way too gosh darn long. So here we go. Nico Heischer is going to win that one and he gives it straight to D-Mac. Oh, Big Daddy D-Mac gets that one around the boards. Nobody goes for it. Oh, but Braden Schneider throws a massive hit. Problem is he's our defenseman and now he's stuck in the jersey zone. Big save by Wallstead. Hamilton lose this thing. He sure. Oh, I couldn't hit him. Couldn't hit him. Here we go. Hamilton's in front. Knock it off him. Knock it off him again. Knock it off him some more. A couple more times. 
Heischer. Heischer. Ah, I'll lose this thing. Hamilton. Big, like, good sticks here, man. Good sticks by the Mac attack. Here we go. Heischer, where are you going with it, baby? Nowhere. There we go. And now DMAC gets her back yet again. Went into the zone. Passed it off to Braden Schneider. Walks right in. Beautiful chance. And DMAC goes for a rebound that wasn't really there. Hamilton. Oh, my God. Watch those sticks. All right. Here we go. Nico Heischer bringing her deep. Into the Minnesota zone. Those were good sticks again. And Pavel Zaka was there to clean up the trash. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Hamilton to Comtois. Comtois gets it back to Jackie Boy Hughes. And whoop, oh, no. I dove down for the block and I just caught his ankle. And now we're in the goddamn penalty box again in the overtime. We got to kill this off. Okay, this simulation's taking way too long, which tells me nothing is about to happen. Absolutely. Nice little backhand pass to Eric Sinek, who actually carries it in before Beauvillier takes it away from him. Man, this first game's taken just my whole life to get through. What do we got? Beauvillier, Comtois, throws that one off the side of the net. We only got 30 seconds. I don't want to go to a shootout. Let's go. Hurry up. Comtois, that one's loose in front. Spurgeon makes a nice defensive play. Let's go. Eric Sinek, big feed up to the Mac attack. Oh, we're doing the Ninja Deeks. We're doing the Ninja Deeks. What do we got? Low shot on that. That one pops out in front, and Krug can't get that rebound. Daddy D Mac takes that one away from, I believe that was still Beauvillier. Cutting in front. Big shot, and Eric Sinek almost gets the rebound. Hey, you want to fight again? There's eight seconds left, and we're off the ice. <laughs> Screw it. Let's simulate. It's just eight seconds I don't want to spend on the ice. I'd rather spend two seconds simming. And now we got a shootout coming. So. DMAC is going to be the first shooter on Mackenzie Blackwood. Let's take it in slow. Probably going to go backhand, forehand, goal, backhand, forehand. Oh, he followed me all the way. There you go. Gets the rebound. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. All right, here we go. Sid the Squid coming down the ice. Easy stop for Wallstead on the Sidney Crosby attempt. Yep, very nicely done, buddy. Here comes Alexander Kovanov. Oh, wow. What a little toe drag, and he tries to shelf it. But Mackenzie Blackwood gets a little piece of it. And now we got Nico Heischer coming down the ice on Jesper Wallstead. Beautiful save, buddy. Beautiful save. Who do we got next? Jordan Greenway. All right. Greenway walks in. Oh, post in, post out. He has 11 goals on the season. He is one of the backbone players of this team, as I like to affectionately call him, the Jolly Green Giant. And Jackie Boy Hughes. Can't put that one past my guy, Jesper Wallstead. So we get ourselves a 5-4 shootout victory. I got no beef with that whatsoever. So here we go with the second and final game of this video, the 32-15-5. Minnesota Wild are up 2-0 against the Winnipeg Jets here at the Canada Life Center in Winnipeg, Manitoba. They got Objork Strand and Hike. Kinnan and Altshuller delay a game penalty. All right. For the uh, blah, 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 blah. Winnipeg Jets. Forgot how to speak English for a minute there. Darren, we're putting the pressure on him. Don't stop now. I can do that, coach. I'll keep putting the pressure on him. Blah, 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 blah. Eric Sinek unable to get that face-off win. And here comes Bailey. Bailey! Oh, he's going to lose. Oh, I thought he was going to lose it in his own zone. Here we go. Bertuzzi to Heikinen. Heikinen gets that one up to Jack Roslovic, who gets killed. <laughs> Oh, my God. Kovanov gets it to the Mac attack. But again, it's like we're just like we're on the power play and you would never know it. Here we go. Erickson. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Here we go. Back to the point. Rossi. Ooh, to Zaka. In front. Kovanov. Nice shot. And what is it? Michael DiPietro. Pretty sure that's his name. Michael DiPietro with the save. Cold Berschetti is the uh, points leader for Winnipeg. And we are off the ice. Simley eight and on ahead to our next shift. 235 to go in the second. That's more flipping like it. And we are already almost done with the second period. The shots are 27 to 12 in favor <laughs> of the Minnesota Wild. We are dummying Winnipeg right now. Bertuzzi taking that one out of his own zone to Borgstrom. And another offside. It's going to be one of these games where the clock goes by faster, but there's 74 million whistles for no goddamn reason. Just knocked that one all the way out of the zone and Vesel line and no, right in front to uh, Bjorkstrand. <laughs> Oliver Bjorkstrand. And now he's trying to take it in front of the net. Borgstrom, new, no, loses that one to Braden Schneider. Schneider, he knows where his uh, bread's buttered. Gets it up to Esteban Hall, who can't hold on to the gosh darn thing. 
And we are into the final minute of the second period as Tarasov just dumps her deep. Tori Krug. Oh, I shouldn't have called for that. That was a mistake. Altschuller to Berschetti. Berschetti can't get a shot on net. Bertuzzi. Berschetti and Bertuzzi. Wow. This is a hungry team. Here we go. Veselainen. Taking that one back down around the net. Gets it to Cold Berschetti. And Braden Schneider's there with a good stick to pick that one off. Tori Krug to Kovanov. Up to D2, the measle. I was about to get off the ice, and I'm like, there's three seconds left. I hate it when they do that to me, so I'm not going to do it to them because I'm a nice boy. And that's going to kill. <laughs> that's going to kill the second period of this one. So, put 20 minutes back on the clock. One last fa lippin' time. As we try to just keep Winnipeg off the board. I mean, we're up two to nothing. Obviously, we would like it if the score was a little higher than that. But anything to nothing is good, you know? Even if it's one nothing, doesn't matter. It's to nothing. Hall, boom! Lay down, buddy. Oh, he didn't even really lay down. He just, like, kind of fell to one knee and immediately got back up. Here comes Alt Schuller into the zone with a nice little shot. Big save. There we go. Esteban Hall gets it to Braden Schneider, who gets himself all tied up along the boards. Now, where is he going to be able to go with it? He's not really going to. Oh, Berschetti. Get off this thing, buddy. Nice little shot. Nice little stop by Jesper Wallstead. Nice actual pass behind the net. And there's another nice one to Kovanov. Oh, they got Artemi Panarin. That's right. And here comes Alt Schuller again. Can you imagine if the Winnipeg Jets got Artemi Panarin? What a, <laughs> what a wild offensive talent. I think that said Sherratt. All right, D2, the Mac got a little bit in the way of that one. Got a partial block. Whoa. All right, let's turn back. We got to slow her down. Get the pass over to Tori Krug. Tori Krug, just stay, every single time he gets the puck, he just dead stops and just gets it taken off him. Like, I love Tori Krug, but, like, buddy, what are you doing? Sherratt across the hall. Hall gets it to Old Schuller, and Hull, not Hall, dives into the most beautiful positioning to stop a goal from going into the net. Here we go. I believe Sault Ste. Marie's no legend, Jack Roslevic. Jared Spurgeon loses that one, and here's D to the Mac, baby. Back in his own zone, gets it up to Alexander Kovanov, and Kovanov, oh, man, are they ever attacking right now? We're up 2 nothing, and like I said, you would never know it. Kovanov gets that one around behind the net. Just trying to get out front. Trying to get up front. Oh, boom! Esteban Hull, baby! The playmaker gets a feed from D to the Mac and puts in his 11th of the season. Now, the thing is, 35 games into this season, Hull had nine points, and three of them were goals. So ever since he started jumping up that lineup, Hullsey's been putting up grody point totals. I'm pretty sure he is over 30 points now, like 16 games later. He had nine points 16 games ago, and I think he has somewhere around like 35 to 40 now. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, no, it's been gross since he jumped up. And I know there was someone who left a comment at one point that was like, if you have like ridiculous chemistry with Esteban Hall, you should stay in Minnesota. It's like, I think we have disgusting chemistry <laughs> with Esteban Hall. And now we are on a power play. The only bad thing is that on that power play, Esteban Hall is not there. I am not overly happy about that, but I'm still happy that we have a pretty decent number one power play. So we're back on the ice with eight minutes to go. Still on the power play. Let's get around the net. Right out in front. Who do we got? Oh, that's not who I meant to pass to. Goddamn. I meant to get that one to Pavel Zaka, but instead tried to throw it across to the other point guy, and the other point guy was heavily watched. So it was Marco Rossi. Yeah, that's another thing that sketches me out, dude. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The fact that, that was a bad pass, the fact that we have five forwards on the ice on a power play, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's sketchy to me, right? I feel like you got like a lot of shorthanded goals allowed would happen. That was an interesting choice to pass to as well. Kovanov, what, are we going to try it again? He is, yeah. <laughs> He's going to try and get it to, to DMAC every time. Gets it back to Pavel Zaka right in front of Eriksson Ek with a backhander. That one came loose right in front of the net, and we were unable to do anything with it. And now we got Oliver Bjorkstrand. He's, he's making moves. He's getting into the zone. Bjork. Boom! Bajoom! <laughs> that was the stupidest thing I've ever said in my life. I've said some dumb stuff. What a feed by Eriksson Ek. And we weren't able to capitalize. And you know what? Di Pietro did get across pretty damn well 
right there. What are we simming down to? Three minutes and 24 seconds left to go on the clock. I'm going to throw it out there and say... This is probably our final shift of the game. Tori Krug to Kovanov. If we just make it four, that'd be cool. Braden Schneider, one of my favorite Minnesota Wild players. He takes a bit of a hit before Esteban Hull throws a bit of a hit. We get that one to the bread man, Artemi Panarin. As a Hawks fan, I am still pretty sour about that. Esteban Hull with a nice shot. Panarin, boom! Oh, I barely even knocked him. And then I'm like, makes me like him even more. All right, here we go. Kovanov, and I've seen him drop the gloves in the NHL. He's actually, he can hold his own, man. He can hold his own. For a skill player that's very small, he can hold his own just fine. D to the measle. Oh, I was going to try and throw that one in front of the net. Maybe try to go for like a cross crease or something. Didn't work. Esteban Hall, what a pass. And that's goal number 51, baby. Holy crap a what a What a steal. And what a pass by Esteban Hall. DMAC with a good finish. Didn't have a ton of room to get that puck into the net. But it worked out just fine. Now, I think that means we don't have a, <laughs> a replay. If I blinked, I would have missed that one, Darren. That was a nice snapshot. Thanks, coach. Doing whatever I can to gain some momentum. So all of our like abilities, our primary line score constantly just in a state of going up. Like Aldous Snow. What a reference. All right. Uh, so no secondary assist on that because it was a steal by Esteban Hall. Jack Roslevic. I should have saw that coming. That was so dumb. This, we're up 4 nothing. If the boys can kill it off, this is going to end the game. And it's going to be fantabliocious. And I'm going to be real happy about it. We were able to kill it off. Big 4 nothing victory. Huge shutout performance by Jesper Wallstead. Now let's take a little stats update here. Where I am curious as to what Halsey's got at this point. Oh my, how the Minnesota Wild have gotten better. We're going to skip through the next game and then do a quick stats update. Hopefully there is nothing. Why, why did you do that weird, I'm going to slow everything right down thing? It always makes me think there's going to be a, a conversation to be had. But look at that. Our record is so much better now. we got a beautiful 34-15-5 record after like a 1-8-5 start or something. Big Daddy D-Mac, 54 games into the season, has 51 goals, 38 assists, and 89 points with the Minnesota Wild. What an absolutely brilliant career choice. 413 career games, 327 goals, 213 assists, and a whopping 540 career points, and a career plus 184. What a monster. Kovanov with 55, Galley with 49, Zaka with 39, and Esteban Hull with 34 points in his rookie season so far. Look at his attribute. Defensively, look at him. He could be a good faceoff guy, too. Rossi's looking good. Eric Sinek looking good. Greenway's looking decent on that second line. Kruger's doing good. Schneider's doing good. Uh, Brodine, Lambos, Addison, I could, I'd like to see a little more from him. But, I mean, as you get down the lineup... There's not a ton of, like, depth scoring. We're kind of like the Edmonton Oilers, apparently. Look at Jesper Wallstead with his fifth shutout of the year. He absolutely is the starting goalie with a 9-10, 283. Decent year for him. We got him for one more year at 3.4 million. That does scare me, though. And D to the Mac. Oh, that was, yeah. All right, here we go. No, entire league. There we go. D to the Mac, a 7 point. All right, sorry, Jesus, math, 13-point lead <laughs> in the league-wide uh, scoring race. So that is pretty gosh darn decent, if I don't say so myself. We are also now in fourth place in the NHL with 34, 15, and 5 record. But that is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the frickin' time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers. Have a good one.